Hey guys, welcome back to RC Cars UK, Paddy with you here again. Now stick around because in this video we're going to be showing you how to make your own little scale Bluetooth sound system for your RC car interior. So for your crawlers, your scalers, you want something extra cool, a little bit different, Bluetooth compatible, TF card readable if you want to do it for a micro USB. Total cost of this, about £12-£13. All in all, pretty good mod. Cheers for watching. We're going to be making a little scale Bluetooth sound system for the F350. So we've already got the interior looking slightly worse for wear. And in the back here, there was a mock sound system install. So what we are going to do is we are going to make that into an actual sound system install. So obviously you can see here where the fake speakers used to sit at the back, just plastic. So we went out and we got some little Bluetooth true wireless speakers. If we get these out, show you. That's what you get, each one's like that. They do have an SD card, so a micro SD TF card reader in the side there, yeah. And they've also got their own independent five volt uh, micro USB plug. So they can work independently or together. So what we will do is we'll go ahead and we'll disassemble these. We can see here guys, that uh, when we look at the specs of these, um, they are three watts at so four ohms. So three watt nominal RMS each. Uh, max, I'd say it's probably about five, six if you're lucky. Um, so as you can see, they're made in China, imported by TJM, which in Britain you will know as TJ Hughes, TJ Morris Limited. Um, so yeah, you'll notice this is what's inside of them. So you've got the speaker unit itself here. It's actually a decent little unit, and this is half the reason why I picked these. Um, the basket's got a decent depth to it relative to its diameter, and it's also got quite a large magnet on it for its uh, diameter and size as well. So I'm hoping um, this gives a decent amount of bass, and obviously has a little bit of scale realism if it moves as well uh, up and down like a little subwoofer, that would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and open up these modular little speaker units. Right, so what we immediately notice is there is a Chinese branded uh, 18650 battery there. Uh, I'm guessing that's a 3.71 S lithium ion polymer roll wrapped. Here is the speaker unit itself. Good. Now here is your PCB, so if we move over here to one that I've already disassembled, uh, you can see there's the Bluetooth unit on there, your processors, your TF card reader and your micro USB for recharging your onboard charging of your 18650 battery. These do work in unison or can work separately like I said. So we are going to just undo the bolts on these, uh, these screws on this PCB here and start cutting some holes for our phone board. So you can see here we've got our little box made up that's just been taped from the back at the moment. This is made with foam board. Now this is designed to slot in here. You have to excuse me, it does usually take two hands to get it in, but uh, that's the basic concept. It'll sit lower on that side obviously. Um, and the speakers will sit one, two in the middle. So what we can do is um, cut the holes now before we carpet. Okay, so the speakers will sit in the middle and the gubbins here will be at the back. Right, so you can see we've used the speaker as a template and drawn round it. What we've also done here, you'll notice when we cut, is that we cut slightly inside the hole and we've cut on a chamfered edge there, so the whole thing chamfered in. And we've done it with a little craft knife. Obviously snap your blade off and uh, go in at an angle and just cut slightly inside your line. Right dude, so we've got to this stage now where we, we've just put our speakers in, they're just loosely held in. You'll see here the gubbins at the back. Now the reason I've done it like this is it's even weight distribution. And also, uh, these little PCB boards have got the push buttons on the back side, don't forget. So, uh, when you turn through this side, what I'll do is I'll poke a very minute hole in the carpet. And by carpet, I have some matching... Uh, to the interior floor style carpet here that will go over yeah uh, and I'll just poke a small hole to be able to reach in with something like a pen or a keyring and just push the button to turn it on so that's the basic setup so far right dude so here it is finished 
So the carpet is on, the uh, mini subs are all wired in and everything. Uh, it's all been glued down. And if we turn it over, we can see as we saw before, here's all the gubbins. So the speakers are, as we said, they're four ohm, three watt each. I think max RMS is about five. Uh, they've been hot glued into position. They have an 18650 Chinese LiPo, a little PCB here with a Bluetooth module on and a TF card slot for your micro SD and also a micro USB um, power jack to charge the battery because there's onboard charging here as well. So this will sit in the back of the F350 quite nicely. Uh, total cost for this mod, I'd say probably about £12 maybe 13 I'd say probably pushing it with some glue you're probably pushing 13 pounds yeah, but that's you know it's not a, a massive amount of money is it for a bit of a fun mod and that'll sit in there like so behind the seats and should give out some nice bassy tunes now I've got an app that will control this Right, you scallywags, we're all complete. It's roughly put in there. We've got power to each unit through the 18650 battery that we've minimally charged just to do this test. We have connectivity to our device, in this case, a smartphone in the form of a Samsung S20 Ultra. Running here, an equalizer app. Because we've got Bluetooth connectivity, I've also made sure that I've gone onto my media settings and made sure here that both of these units are running synchronously. If you notice there, there is only one arrow ticked. You need both ticked, otherwise only one of these speakers will work at one time. Here we can see that we have paired and synced up these speakers to work together. Fantastic. So let's go back to our app where we can find our music to play. Now you can see our volume controls here are moving synchronously. If I just focus in there, you'll notice our volume controls are moving synchronously now with the two devices that are connected. Obviously, you can use an app like this. to obviously change your settings as you wish. Right guys, so what you can see there is we have Bluetooth connectivity, we have a functioning sound system. Total cost of this, £12, £13. Um, I mean, yeah, there was an hour soul's worth, uh, worth of work in there. you got to buy a foam board, you got to buy a little piece of nice quality felt, not the cheap quality, nice quality felt. Felt was 50p, foam board was £2, and the speakers themselves were a tenner. So that's pretty much it right there, bit of hot glue. Bit of duct tape, bit of super glue, and that's the build right there, pretty much in a nutshell. So I hope you go out and I hope you do go make something cool for yourself. I mean, if I didn't have these here, or if this was in the bed, what I might do in the future is put two here 
and put a screen in here. I've done that before in the past where I've put a screen and uh, yeah, it looks really good. I've even put a mock little PlayStation in one of them so and uh, recorded some PlayStation game footage, put it on there and it looked like the PlayStation was playing through a mock TV. So uh, yeah, the sky's the limit basically. Use your imagination and create something cool. Come back here, tag me in and let me know uh, what you've managed to make from uh, the advice that you've seen in this video. Thanks very much for watching this Paddy RC RC Cars UK tutorial and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers guys.